Well, hi, everyone. Uh, welcome to our webinar on using, using shop local marketing to connect with customers. My name is Laura Jones. I'm the executive vice president of CFIB, which is a fancy way of saying that I wear a lot of different hats and um, I kind of skate wherever I'm, I'm needed. Uh, we're really excited about uh, today's webinar and excited to be back. It's been a little while since we've been, I think our last one was uh, early August. So um, for those of you who are new, a special welcome to you. Um, and uh, we'll just, I'll just run through a little bit of housekeeping that for those of you who've been with us on, on other webinars will be familiar with. We've got a chat function and we also have a questions uh, function. So the chat allows us to, um, the chat allows us to uh, interact with each other and uh, for you guys to interact with each other and make comments. And then the questions are for the presenters. So if you have any questions for us as presenters, put them in the questions and we'll see them there. You can upvote them. It's great. Um, comments or engagement with each other. Use the chat function. That's terrific. Uh, Arish has put the presentation in the chat function. So if you want to download it, that's fine. You don't have to do that. We're going to send you a copy afterwards. And so you can also so, and you can also find the uh, webinar itself. We'll send you a recording as well as the notes, but you can find the webinar in your member only part of the website. Uh, so we have all the webinars, including our previous ones. And we did one that was quite popular um, uh, earlier in August on the credit card class action suit. So if you're interested in finding more about that and whether you may be eligible to get some money back from the credit card companies, check out that uh, webinar. Um, so I think that's what I needed to do for the um, for the housekeeping. So I am excited to introduce our our our, our co-host, my co-host today, Mandy uh, Dutremont, who is our vice president of marketing partnerships. Will be joining us. Mandy, do you want to say a quick hello? Hi everyone. I'm really excited to um, be on this webinar with you today. I hope we get a lot of engagement and questions from you um, and um, really excited because we have a lot of shop local programs that we're doing at CFIB and we have a vision to really be able to rally Canadians to shop local and we want to bring you into that fold and, and get your help. Um, the more businesses that are going to, um, to support the work that we're doing, the, the bigger the movement is going to be. Um, so you're a really important part of that and hopefully we'll get you excited about what we're doing today. And then um, in my role, I often um, speak with other organizations to get their help in promoting shopping local. And um, so Canada Post um, was uh, one group that we've been talking to, and we were really interested in the products that they have and how they can help you connect with your customers. So they have come on board to support our Small Business Saturday campaign that we have coming up in November, and you're going to hear all about that today. But um, maybe I'll uh, bring Jonathan up and introduce you to him, who uh, Jonathan Critch is um, Canada Post's uh, ma uh, Manager of um, Small Business Marketing. So Jonathan, if you want to pop up, that would be great. And um, say hello to everyone. Really excited to have you here today. Thanks so much, Mandy, and thanks so much, Laura. And yeah, very excited to meet you all and, and present for today. Uh, uh, we're hoping that the content for today will be you know, something that's engaging and interesting and very relevant as we think ahead to Small Business Saturdays. So uh, I won't give too much away because I know we've got a lot to talk about, uh, but nice to meet you all. Thanks, Jonathan. And I know that um, some people might have been scratching their heads saying, what we, what, what is CFIB doing with Canada Post as, a, as a, a guest on their webinar? But I know, Mandy, you saw some of the interesting tools that Canada Post has now uh, to help small business with some marketing. And we wanted to, we felt that they were good enough that we wanted to put them in front of, um, in front of our members to have a look at because some of them may be very useful. And, um, and so we'll get to those in just a minute. Uh, but but before we do, um, I also just want to share before we get too far into this, you know, of course, many businesses are already very engaged in shop local and it doesn't have to be um, it doesn't have to be expensive. It doesn't have to be fancy to be very effective. And these are just some shots that um, that my colleagues and I have taken. I remember walking by the Bravo um, for shopping local sign and it puts such a big smile on my face because it just it's just made you laugh and a lot of a lot of shop local messaging or local business um, 
signs that are put on chalkboards have that effect on their customers. There's this positive externality that happens when you, because people feel good about uh, shopping local. And I know Mandy's going to talk more about that in a moment. We've got some more examples um, on the next slide of um, uh, just, you know, again, uh, different ways that people are, 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 conveying that message. And one of our key messages is, of course, the more people that participate in this, the more powerful it becomes because it becomes really amplified. And uh, just so we get a better sense of um, our audience today, um, I know we've got a quick poll that we want to do about how engaged you are currently in Shop Local um, initiatives. And so Arish is going to put up that poll. And um, so you can do the poll. And then also in the chat, if you want to put what part of the country you're coming to us from that's always nice to see um, just how uh, how many people we have from right across Canada so we'll just wait for a minute while those two things are happening and I'll tell you where I'm coming from today I'm in Vancouver and my colleagues are uh, uh, got some behind the scenes colleagues from Toronto here, and Mandy's also. Mandy, you're coming with us from uh, you're you're in Toronto, mm -hmm. and I see we've got Nelson, Cornerbrook, Newfoundland, Chatham, Ontario, Thorndale, Calgary. I just love to see. I, I don't. I, this never gets old for me. So for those of you who join us on lots of webinars, um, hopefully you're not getting sick of telling us where you're from. But it's just so cool that we have members from we have business owners right across Canada connected on these webinars. Okay, and um, so the poll seems to be taking a minute. Let's see. Let's see if we've got the results. Drum roll, please. Okay, so looks like lots of you engaged in um, in um, some form of shop local uh, messaging, uh, but also looks like there's room uh, to do more, which is exactly what we're here to talk about and hopefully make it really easy for you as well. So I'm gonna get right into the next uh, slide, um, which tells us about uh, the agenda. So, um, and we are going to mention some free tools that we have. As I just showed, this doesn't have to be complicated. This can be as simple as asking one of your staff members to come up with a cool sign for the business. Um, but we We've also got some free tools and um, Canada Post has an interesting, uh, some interesting tools to make you aware of, um, some of them free of charge as well. And then we'll get to questions and comments. And we hope that through the webinar, you'll share as much of your experience as you feel comfortable through the chat, um, because this is not just us talking to you. We find during these webinars that it really is about the small business community um, here. And we've also are going to be asking for your help and advice on some of the tools that we're putting together. Okay, so with that, Mandy's going to join me for the next slide. And um, Mandy, I think the main point here, we're not going to spend a ton of time here, but is that this is a sentiment that you can tap into confidently. Um, so I'll, I know you've got more to say about this. And this comes from some public opinion polling. Yeah, so we did some um, some polls of Canadians to ask them why are they supporting small businesses, and um, the results came back quite strong that um, it's important to them, and this gives them a real sense of pride. So when you make those steps to activate those sentiments in your your business and in your marketing, it can be really powerful. Um, and there are some, uh, some specific sentiments um, that I can show you on our next slide. Um, we wanted to dig a little bit deeper. So we found out that there are real motivators that Canadians have, and um, the top one is supporting their community. So they want to shop local because they want um, to support their community. So it can be really powerful for you. Uh, many of you are likely already doing this, but if you show how your business is an important part of the community, maybe you um, support a local sports team or you run a local fundraiser. So not being shy about showcasing that can really help build that connection with, um, with your customers and in your community. Um, the second is to help small businesses succeed. So I think here, um, what, what we 
interpret this as is, um, is that you can thank your customers for helping you succeed. Don't be shy about that. And that's actually when we um, launched Small Business Every Day, which is our shop local campaign we're gonna talk about shortly. We asked um, you, our members, what you would wanna tell um, your customers during the pandemic. And the, the big phrase that came out of it was, we survive with your support. And that was a message that really resonated with um, Canadians. And I think even as we're out of the pandemic, it's still uh, a message uh, of helping your local community and your local businesses succeed. Um, so thanking your customers for that can be very powerful. Um, and then other things like making sure that the vibe and friendliness that you have, I mean, obviously that's something that, that you're striving to do every day with your customers, but maybe you can remind your staff of the importance of that more frequently yeah. as well. Um, and then the other interesting thing, you can see convenience and having unique items. They're, they're not the top of the list, but one of the interesting things when we dug into this is that um, for men, convenience is a, a bigger driver. So if your products are specifically targeted or services to men, maybe highlighting in your marketing that it's convenient or fast. Um, and then um, if your products are more targeted toward women, highlighting the unique of your products or experience can be something that's powerful for your audience as well. So hopefully you can take something out of, out, out of these results um, and leverage them in your business. And one comment I would make about the, just a couple of comments on what you said, um, Mandy. I know we hear, first of all, from a lot of members that, that one of the things they like about the support local messaging and the, you know, shopping small messaging is, um, and the kind of Amazon doesn't live here idea, is um, the idea that when you are promoting, um, that, that you can promote shopping local and as a community, and that it isn't just only about promoting your own business, but it's about promoting businesses around you. So um, I think there's lots of great messaging that ties into that, that is really, um, uh, really does resonate with the public. The other thing I wanted to comment on is the, the vibe from staff, because I know that we get a lot of calls into our helpline about managing employees. And um, one of the things that I think is really helpful is when you take the time to connect the dots for your staff about why they're important and they are the front uh, face of, of your business. And, you know, my daughter uh, just got a job with a small business and um, some of her training has been um, has been really excellent, but sometimes I, I think they forget how little she really knows about the world. And I'll say things to her like, well, you know that when you smile at the customers and you create a connection there, that's helping the business succeed. And, you know, she kind of looks at me like, oh, I hadn't thought about it that way. So just never underestimate the power sometimes of connecting those dots for, um, for your staff. And I know some of this is basic, but it helps sometimes just to be reminded of the, the basics. Um, so Mandy, let's move on to the next slide you have, which um, I thought this was also really interesting. And ba basically the takeaway not to steal your thunder is that, you know, promote using sales uh, right now at, on sale is something customers are going to be looking for because they're a little bit more worried about pocketbook issues, but you can explain this graph. Yeah, so I'm, I don't want to get in, into the weeds on this graph. Um, exactly what Laura said, when there's hard economic times, um, Canadians are likely going to be looking for, for promotional sales for discounts. So pairing something like that with um, a shop local marketing is something that matched together can be really powerful. And what this slide shows is that um, when the recession hit in the United States, Americans were really looking for sales. So a larger proportion of their, um, their budget went towards sales items. So you can expect if we're in a hard economy this fall, you may see more foot traffic of people coming in looking for sales um, that could draw them. Um, and so it may just be a, a good tactic to think of um, and pairing that um, with um, the shop local marketing. And coming up in a couple slides, we're going to be talking about um, Small Business Saturday, which is that, you know, Black Friday has become bigger in Canada. And then um, in the States, um, Small Business Saturday follows that. We used to have ours in October, but we've moved it because Black Friday is a big deal in Canada. And that's a perfect opportunity to promote sales. And we've got some stuff that some tools that may help with that, but that'll be coming up. But looking for those, um, you know, sales are a bigger deal. And again, I'm sure we're not telling our members anything they don't know here, Mandy, but it's just this is a different way of reinforcing um, that that is important and that your instinct to do that is 
is, is right. Um, so let's move on to the next slide. And here are some of the things that people do to promote local. Again, we're probably not telling you anything you don't already know, but it's a good reminder to have uh, the list of, of things. And Mandy, I don't know what else you want to say about promoting. And then we're going to talk about reinforcing in a minute as well. Yeah, so I think for for promoting, um, one of the things I really want to highlight here is both the social, the digital kind of promotion that you can do for your business, as well as the direct mail. And that's what we're going to show you how that can all come together with Canada Post tool later on um, in this call. But you can see, as Laura said, there's many different ways you can do this to connect with new customers. Um, and then um, also many ways to reinforce the shopping local sentiments with your current customers. And I think this is really where you build a good sense of connection, like where our favorite things are, where we're seeing that loyalty be reinforced. Um, one of our um, colleagues who's in the background on this call, um, she had ordered some um, beer during the pandemic to get delivered at home and the business sent them a, um, a bag of chips with it and a personal note saying we really thought you would enjoy this along with your beer um, and so it just that kind of thing really can stick with people and it makes it made her then tell everyone else about this um, this uh, local brewery so yeah. um, I think not forgetting the power of that because that's not something an experience that anybody is going to get from a big business this is really unique to um, and powerful a powerful way for you to connect with your customers yeah it's very personal when you get that little um that little thank you with the, even if it's an online order and there's a little thank you for shopping local in the box um I, and i know the the thing that you don't hear um that the compliments that you don't hear from your customers are the ones that like mandy um like this story about the bag of chips being shared or the um you know my mother telling me oh i just got an order from a small business and they had the nicest little thank you note in it and it was you know it was personally signed and it reminded me that i should should be shopping local. So that's kind of what we're, that's the sentiment that we're um, all trying to tap into. And, um, you know, we hear a lot that it works. Um, we may hear more than you do, actually, um, because sometimes people compliment, compliment you in their heads or, or after the fact, and you're not there to hear the compliment. Um, okay, so let's shift, uh, Mandy, into some of what we did. Now, during the pandemic, um, we, we've we always been engaged, for a long time, we've been engaged with the Small Business Saturday campaign. Um, we, we used to do it in October to line up with Small Business Month, and we've moved it to that November window in order to really leverage that, that window where people are thinking about holiday shopping. But to complement our Small Business Saturday campaign, during the pandemic, we said one Saturday a year is not enough. Uh, we need to figure out how to promote um, shopping local every day. And this messaging actually came from a webinar with our um, with our members. And we said, what kind of messages would you want to put on a poster, as Mandy said? And they wanted thank you came out as a very strong message. And also we survived with your support. Um, we're going to be looking at updating these posters, but these ones are available. And just we also whenever we tweet or we see something great happening local or um, a, a business doing something that, you know, is great, we use that hashtag small business every day to kind of amplify. And Mandy, what am I what am I missing on our small business every day year round opportunity to promote? Yeah, I think um, the one call to action I would get, give everyone on the webinar is to go to smallbusinesseveryday.ca. You can go to the business section of that page and download digital tools that you can post on social. So you can see this image on the left, as well as the poster. Um, you can um, download it, print it off. And, um, and hopefully many of you already have those up because we've been trying to get them out for the last couple of years. Um, but you can start using them now if you haven't been and use them any time during the year. Um, and then our, our other campaign, Small Business Saturday, this is the one that is that one day big event that we want to get as many Canadians to be shopping local as possible. As Laura mentioned, it is during that busy shopping weekend right in between Black Friday and Cyber Monday now. Um, and um, we've partnered with American Express and with um, Canada Post to help get support on this initiative and um, make it a bigger one across the country. We're building a full toolkit for you to use so that you can 
celebrate Small Business Saturday this year in your business. Um, and you can also offer Small Business Saturday sales so that you're marrying that sale and that shop local marketing together. And we have a whole toolkit that we're building. We don't have it already yet because we want to get your feedback first before we finalize the look and feel of the campaign because um, your opinions really matter. Um, so before I show um, the kind of creative that we put together, is there anything else, Laura, that you want to share about Small Business Saturday? Um, I don't think so, other than to say, Mandy, that, you know, in the U.S., they've really been able to make this big. And we deliberately have moved um, in Canada. It's CFIB has the, the Small Business Saturday, owns the Small Business Saturday, but Amex approached us. And we know from our to, to work together. And we know from our surveys that we've done of our members, there's um, an appetite to have big business actually support small business in promoting um, shop local initiatives. So we did partner with them on that in order to amplify. And I think there's a real opportunity to make this a lot bigger in Canada than it has been um, to the benefit of uh, small business um, getting more media. And obviously we're we're working on doing our part um, in that. But I'm excited to get our members feedback on our don't don't be shy about telling us what you like and don't like. We've got some surveys, but then you can also put some stuff in the chat. So in this first um, version, what you can see is that we're going to have two separate posters, one that is about celebrating the day and, um, and more generally, and then the second one you can see here, we're flashing it up as a sale. So the second one is if you want to offer a sale, this is the poster that you would put up in, um, in your business. Um, and the other one is just about celebrating the day and trying to draw traffic in without a sale. So this is the first creative look um, that we have. I'll give you just one moment to um, get a first impression of it. Um, and then I'll go to the second. So this is the storefront version. Um, the second is a version of um, a woman running toward um, enthusiastically toward a sale. Uh, so this is the second option. Um, and then our third version is um, a family out shopping together. So we have those three different versions um, and we are going to put up a, um, a uh, question um, for you to let us know which ones um, you would put up in your business. So you could like all three. And if you like all three, please select all three. Um, if there's only one you like, um, select only that one. Um, and um, then if you don't like any of them, you can put that, um, respond in that way as well. And then afterward in the chat, we'll ask you um, why you may have um, particular preferences or what you may really like about one or not like about others. Um, because what's really important to us is that we create something that you want to put up in your business. And we're never going to make everyone happy, but hopefully we can make a majority um, happy on this one. Yeah, and these will be free, um, obviously, for members. You'll be able to download them. Um, we'll send you an email with... Um, uh, with the content, we'll have it in the member only part of the website. So it'll all be um, available um, for you. And on the, the last time we did this with the thank you, we survived with your support posters for small business every day. The feedback we got was great. And we changed the we changed from the first version to the version that you that, that you saw. I, actually, there was quite a bit of um, uh, change based on your feedback. So um, again, we want these tools to be ones that that work for you. So we uh, look forward to your feedback and it looks like we're going to get it now. Okay. It looks like the storefront and the family are um, kind of the, the front runners and few of you don't like any of them. Um, I love to hear what you like and don't like in the chat. So if, if it's, you know, the the font, the color, I think the colors are a little bit like the Christmas kind of a little bit of the Christmas vibe without being directly. Um, okay, great feedback, Cheryl, um, about the storefront creates the feeling of supporting local stores. And I think that's kind of what I was saying before, like supporting local broadly, not just come shop in, in, in my business. And that seems a lot of business owners I talk to, they really like being part of the broad movement. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, balloons yeah that works if you sell balloons that's that's mm -hmm. great um, um okay not open saturdays well that's not going to work for you then but um 
this is great feedback, guys. Like, I feel like this is this is fantastic. So thank you. Keep it coming. Um, yeah. So now what we can do, we will keep collecting any thoughts you have and we'll um, everything that you put in there, we'll um, keep track of and take back um, to see what updates that we should make. Um, but now I'm going to turn it over to Jonathan um, and he's going to show you some of the tools that they have if you, um, hopefully you plan to, um, to leverage Small Business Saturday in your business. So he'll show you um, the tools they have that can help you do that. Um, and we've also created a, um, a specific um, postcard that can be used with their tool that is this um, Small Business Saturday branding that we've put together. So you'll see that um, in Jonathan's uh, presentation. So I'm gonna hand it over and just, to- just a, just a couple quick comments, because I've been following the chat, Mandy, while you've been um, talking. One, I want to be clear with everyone that there'll be a version that says sale and a version that doesn't say sale. So we get that, that not everyone might want to have a sale. Um, and so some people are saying I'd prefer one without a sale sign. There will be two versions because some people will want to advertise a sale. Some people will just want to do the um, shop local. Um, and again, as Mandy said, it won't work for all businesses. Uh, funeral home um, comment. I, I get why this wouldn't work for, uh, for you. And there are lots of other ways, um, other signs, but we're just trying to keep, have something kind of plug and play and easy uh, for people, but we would encourage everyone to do whatever feels comfortable. And with that, Jonathan, excited to have you on to um, talk a little bit about um, marketing and marrying the best of the sort of the old world and the new world, I think is the way I would describe what you're, what you're about to present. And, uh, and yeah, I think that's a great way to, to kind of kick it off here. And uh, I think hopefully, as we kind of go into it a little bit more detail, you know, feeding off of everything that, that Laura and Mandy have talked about, you know, thinking about what your marketing strategy can look like for the upcoming Small Business Saturday. Um, and I'd even say as the extension of that, you know, that shop local side of things. Um, and so we're going to talk a little bit about, um, as, as Laura mentioned, um, joining, you know, as we think about, you know, a little bit more of the modern side of things with digital marketing, what a physical piece can look like and what that means for both of that. Uh, but before I jump in, and I know I gave myself, or I gave a little bit of an overview of who I am, um, but I'm a part of our small business marketing team at Canada Post. Um, and my role is really to focus in on providing the right, you know, insights, the right tools um, and content related for small businesses um, when it comes down to both, you know, shipping and e-commerce as well as marketing. Um, so excited to talk to you guys today about the more marketing Marketing specific side of things um, and how to plan ahead for the uh, you know, upcoming Small Business Saturday uh, campaign. Uh, so before we jump into you know, the specifics and the tools that we have available that might make the most sense for your business, um, it's always good to do a little bit of a level set into thinking about you know, as you're trying to win new customers, especially those who are probably going to be a little bit more engaged with things like Small Business Saturday or potentially Shop Local, um, there's four key things to keep in mind. Um, so first and foremost is, you know, who are you targeting? Who's the right uh, audience for your business? You know, who might be interacting with your brand today? Um, and who are those that you would like to get into your store, um, whether it's online or, or in person? Uh, what that message is. Um, and I know both Laura and Mandy kind of talked a little bit about this before, you know, the right message could be a specific promotion that you're trying to sell. Uh, it could be tied to something like, you know, that shop local messaging or something more specific around your brand that you want to articulate. Um, and the timing, making sure that, you know, if it is a promotion, that the message that you're sending out from your marketing is at the right time, um, or if there's other things that your customers are getting ready to engage with, um, whether it is Small Business Saturday, uh, that you are ready and have that message ready to go. Um, and then finally, channel. And so this is the exciting part that I would say for the presentation here is, you know, how are you reaching out to your customers today? Um, and are, are there different elements that you might want to think about for your upcoming Small Business Saturday uh, timeframe? Um, using both online and offline can really help elevate that, um, that strategy you might have. And we're going to talk a little bit about how you can get that set up. Uh, so the following slide here is going to talk a little bit about, you know, some of the, you know, when we think about digital, which many of you guys might be leveraging today and leveraging a physical piece, which you may or may not be doing today. Um, but what we've seen through our research is that when you combine that digital and physical component of your marketing, um, it can really elevate uh, 
uh, the engagement with your customers. Um, so we'll, talk, we'll start off and talk about some of the tactics that you may or may not be using today. Um, so in the far left here, I've got a photo of you know, a Facebook post. Um, and so really, you know, this is one of the potential digital marketing components that you might be doing today. Um, you can have a specific message that you know, can go with unpaid um, advertisements where you're just posting a message to whoever might be following your brand. Um, you can add some paid advertisement be behind that where you can reach a larger audience that may or may not be engaging with you today. Um, and then the second photo there is an example of, you know, a potential paid advertisement through, uh, through digital. Um, so this is an example of, you know, a post related to a promotion in this instance, um, which can be, you know, which can happen through, you know, posting on various websites or search locations, um, using things like Google ads to get your, your, um, your message out to a larger audience based on the specifics that you're looking to target, um, as we kind of talked about in the last few slides. Uh, the secondary element, which is one that you may or may not be using today, is that physical or that direct mail component. Um, so these could be anything from letters, catalogs, um, and anything else that's a physical piece that would be received in the, in the mailbox of potential customers. Um, and really what this is, is it can be done in two different ways. Uh, one is you can do it from a address side of things. So you have a list of potential customers that you've engaged with and you have their address information. So you can go ahead and send that personalized piece to them. Or you can do an unaddressed side of things. And we're going to walk through a little bit about the tool to showcase how you can do this. Um, but basically targeting potential customers in various geographic locations across Canada, um, you know, across all those, you know, we saw a list of all those different individuals who are, who are across Canada as well. And so the tool I'll be able to show you today is, you know, is adaptive and allows you to, you know, search wherever you're located. Um, but being able to allow you to reach a larger audience, um, um, leveraging that physical piece. Um, so what we've seen through our research is that if you pair that physical and that digital component, we see about 39% more time is spent on your marketing campaigns. And so really having that message go across various channels um, can really help elevate. Uh, so before we jump in, I'm going to do a little bit of a walkthrough of a tool that's specifically designed for, you know, small businesses. Um, but, you know, for those, we, we know that when we talk about this kind of joint physical and digital marketing campaigns, um, it might make sense for some, some businesses and it may not make sense for others. And that's totally fine. Um, I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of Snap Ad Mail, which will showcase, you know, elements in there that are fully free that you can pull at any point in time to help you target and better understand the customers that are around you. Um, for those who may not want to, you know, jump into doing this type of campaign for the upcoming Small Business Saturdays. Um, but we also, for those who are saying, hey, this feels like something I want to test out. I want to learn a little bit more. Um, within the walkthrough of Snap Ad Mail as well, we're going to go through the full end-to-end -end process and showcase how simple and straightforward it can be, especially with some of the tools that the CFIB team has created for you. Um, so in a Coles notes, before we jump into that, that walkthrough, Snap Ad Mail is a tool that's designed for small businesses uh, that's fully do it yourself to allow you to create that physical and digital marketing campaign from start to finish in as little as 10 minutes. Um, so we're going to walk you through, you know, if we think about that formula from a few slides earlier, we're going to walk you through how to target uh, you know, what you might do when you want to design your actual piece from a messaging and a timing perspective, um, and then leveraging the right channels that make sense for your business. Before I do jump into that, I will, I will flag as well that uh, on the right side of the slide here, um, I flag what we call our smart mail marketing partners. Um, so if after I've done this walkthrough, if you're feeling, yes, I really want to test out this marketing strategy, um, but I want a little bit of extra help. Uh, we've got over 250 uh, smart mail marketing partners across Canada um, that are, you know, a range of individuals who are, you know, creative agencies, printers, et cetera, um, that are uh, part of our program to help you know, small businesses and others um, create these types of marketing campaigns. Um, so if you go to the link at the very bottom there, um, which we'll share after, after the presentation, um, Canada Post uh, backslash small business marketing, you'll be able to find the link for Snap Ad Mail as well as the directory for our smart mail marketing partners to help you, you get started right away. Uh, so I'll jump right into the actual walkthrough here um, and showcasing how Snap Ad Mail uh, works. Um, so if we were to jump on, this is the link that I just shared with you guys, and we scroll down a little bit and you'll be able to find the Snap Ad Mail portion here. 
If I click on that, you'll land on the landing page here. It has a ton of information related to the tool if you want to learn a little bit more. Um, but you can get started right away, and we're going to show that free component that you can use for targeting at any point in time. So if I go here, um, what you're going to see here is um, you know, getting yourself set up with the actual targeting or you know, choosing the right customers that you're trying to reach out to. Um, so really this, what we do is we leverage a range of different data and we map out all the different neighborhoods that will be surrounding your business um, and tell you a little bit more about those who might be living around your business to help you target and better understand um, who you might be wanting to engage with. Um, so for in this instance, we're just going to enter, you know, what my business address might be. Uh, you're going to choose the distance that you want to review. So it could either be from a drive time perspective um, or a radius of kilometers. So I'm just going to pick five kilometers for now. Um, and then the extra exciting part here is the actual demographic or the specific information related to potential customers. Um, so what we've got is we've got layered of information related to those who might be living around your business. Um, and so the type of information we've got here is, you know, average household income, the age of those who live in that neighborhood, home ownership, uh, gender, and if there's children in the house as well, to help target depending on, you know, what kind of business you're look, you are. So if I was to assume that I'm a real estate agent and I'm looking for individuals who are, you know, wanting to sell their home, um, let's say I'm going to choose household income as one of my targeting um, requirements, and I'm going to choose eighty thousand dollars or eighty thousand or higher in house average household income, um, and then I'm also going to choose those who uh, own their home. So then what I'm going to do is click show my results, and then we're going to actually have a map pop up. Um, a little heat map that's going to showcase all the various different neighborhoods surrounding my business. So if I scroll in a little bit, um, and I'm going to walk you guys through all the different pieces here. Uh, so the blue dot here is actually the business that I had included um, that I've chosen for myself. Uh, the black line is the five kilometer radius that we had talked about earlier. Um, and then what you're going to see is all the various neighborhoods with different, uh, the different coloring in there. Um, I'll direct you to the far right over here, which basically gives you a bit of an index as to what you're reading. So if a color is a little bit on the lighter side, it means that there's a lower match to the specific information that we had asked for. Um, so reminder is 80,000 or higher in average household income and those who own their homes. Um, and then when you have the darker colors, it means it's a closer match to what you're trying to target. Um, so as you can see, this is something that's a great tool to toy around with, fully free for you to use at any point in time for, you know, potentially small business Saturdays or any other time as well. Um, so if you scroll over and you see in the far left here, um, it tells you a bit more information related to those specific neighborhoods that you've seen. So for this one in particular, we see that there's about 82.80% match as to what we've included. And it tells us what the actual address breakdown is. So who are, you know, what are the addresses within those neighborhoods? And Jonathan, maybe I can jump in here to just make some clarifications on this, because when you were showing this to us previously, um, I um, had some confusion on my end of what um, this actually does. Um, so it's such a great tool that it's free and you can get some really great data for, for your business with this tool. Um, and um, just for clarity, um, I initially had thought that this meant I could target mail directly to only those business or those audiences that I filtered through here. But what this is, what we would do is, let's say you're looking for um, women who uh, own their own homes, for example, yeah. that it's going to show me which postal codes I can mail that has the highest density density of women who own their own homes um, versus only sending mail to them. So I might choose the, um, the areas with um, the highest density of women who own their own homes, um, but that mail would also go to everyone else in that postal code as well. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And that's exactly right, Mandy. And, you know, as we look at this, you know, unfortunately we can't target the exact individuals in every single specific instance, but to your point, um, it's going to be the highest percentage match rate. Um, and I think for many folks on the call too, this is also a great tool for you to better understand, you know, what are some of the neighborhoods that are surrounding your, your business? Um, and you might be able to better understand that saying, hey, you know, you might 
know that, you know, you know, maybe you know that, let's say you're looking for, you're one who sells a lot of children clothing or something like along those lines. And you know that there's different neighborhoods in the entire city that have a little bit of a higher percentage of those with children. Um, so it might help you think about, you know, oh, maybe this is a great spot for a pop-up or maybe this is a great spot to, you know, expand my business as well. So this is, yeah, exactly to your point. And Jonathan, we also had a question on a previous slide that you had from um, Lindsay. Um, she was wondering um, in your slide where you showcase that 39% yeah. more time is spent on your campaign. What is the, do you happen to have on hand the percentage um, of time spent on just direct mail? I'll have to double check. I don't have it um, off the top of my head here, but what I can say is that it's really, that stat is comparing just the true digital marketing component versus kind of that joint together. Um, so I, I can double check. Maybe what I can do is I can send this to you, Mandy, and we can share it with the group afterwards. Sounds good. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, so um, let us, what I'll do is I'll choose a few neighborhoods just to leverage for this potential example here. Um, and, and actually maybe even feeding off of Mandy's point earlier about the breakdown of the neighborhoods, there is one component that we can uh, segment out a little bit. It won't go to that level of detail of, you know, the specific individuals who are, you know, women, et cetera. Um, but it is related to the actual address breakdown within each of these neighborhoods. Um, so what you can see in the far right here um, is it tells us what the actual address breakdown of the neighborhoods that we've selected. Um, so you can choose if you want to have these items delivered to only houses, farms, businesses, and apartments and condos, or a subset within there. Um, in our specific example, if we're assuming, let's say I'm a real estate agent and I'm targeting those who own homes, um, I might decide to unselect those who are in apartments and condos, farms, and businesses, as they're going to be a little bit more focused here. Um, and then what you can see here tells you what the percentage match rate, depend, what we've selected, um, and then we can click save and continue. So I can just put maybe test and we'll move on to the next phase. So Jonathan, I think you just answered Lindsay's question, but I want to um, confirm because she's asking, can you target businesses only through um, Snap ad mail? And I think what you're saying is you, you, you can do that. You can. Um, I think the only challenge I would say in this instance, um, and maybe if I, I scoot myself back here for a second, is that uh, the way that the Snap Ad Mail tool is designed, it's based on information related to consumers. So we do have, we do know who, how many addresses are in specific areas that are businesses. Um, and you know what, I can probably showcase a good example here. Um, but we wouldn't have the demographic information related to those specific businesses. However, um, you would be able to see, let's just use, let's just use this as an example. Um, you would be able to see uh, neighborhoods that might have a higher percentage of businesses, for example. Okay, so like the example Mandy was giving before, you could target those neighborhoods that have a higher percentage of businesses, but you're not targeting specifically only, yes. only sending it to businesses. Exactly, yeah. Okay. And, it, and, this, and these ones might not be the best example, but for this one, for example, this neighborhood has a total of three businesses, a large area, but it, we do know that based on the address breakdown that this is only okay. businesses in this area, for example. Right. right, so you might want, so Lindsay, for example, that would be a neighborhood that you might say, well, I'm less interested in that neighborhood than another neighborhood that has more businesses. And while, I, uh, while I've interrupted your flow, um, uh, Ilanit, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, has a question about promoting, can you promote events on this platform? So I think you're going to come to that with the Small Business Saturday event in a minute, but I just wanted to let you know, Ilanit, your question will be answered. Just hang in there. Yeah, for sure. Exactly. And that's a, yeah, we'll jump right into that in a moment. Okay, thank you. <laughs> um, and let's give me two seconds. There we go. Um, and yeah, and I think we'll, we'll talk a little bit about um, exactly to that point, that question around timing and, you know, when you want to actually leverage this type of this type of tool or the message you'd like to send out. Um, and I would say based on that specific question, you know, as we look at, you know, the Snap Ad Mail tool or for any other marketing that you might have, um, you know, as we talked about earlier in the presentation, that timing perspective. So if you have an event, if you're looking for small business Saturday type of promotions, or if you have a specific time that you're looking to share with specific 
you know, customers or new customers, um, you can use this tool to be able to help drop those uh, direct mail pieces in and around that time frame that you want to let get that message out, um, as well as the digital component can match up. So we'll, we'll showcase how that can be done um, in a moment. Um, so uh, the following the following page here is once you've decided on the customer base that you want to reach out to those specific neighborhoods you're looking at. Um, we're then going to design the actual piece itself. Um, and so luckily the CFIB team has already created some pieces for you guys to leverage. Um, but essentially over here on the left, we're going to pick the sizing of the, the direct mail piece you want to do. Uh, five by seven is usually the one that many, many small businesses choose. You're then going to choose the design option. So you have two options here. You can either upload your own artwork, which you can leverage the CFIB team's uh, templated direct mail piece, um, or for about one to $200, you can work with one of our designers to help design the piece um, with whatever you're looking for. Um, so in this instance, we would choose the upload your artwork. Um, and then this is gonna get to the next point, which will probably help answer the question about a specific event, um, is you're gonna decide on when you want the pieces to be dropped. Um, so if you want it all at once, and I would say typically that's usually a good recommendation, especially if we think about Small Business Saturday, it's a very specific day you wanna get the message out you know, beforehand. Um, and then you can choose up to eight weeks in advance as to when you want the actual pieces dropped, as well as the digital component as well. Um, so in this instance, I know we're a little ahead of time for uh, Small Business Saturday, but let's say we'll just pick this week there um, as to the general timing as to when those, those pieces are gonna be delivered. Um, on the top here, then what you're going to see is um, impressions, which is basically the total number of times that you're going to be hitting this specific audience. Um, we haven't added the digital component yet, so this is just truly just our physical piece of uh, direct mail going to the customers, what the cost would be and the overall campaign total. Um, if we want to add that digital marketing component in um, as well with it, you have two options that are very simple to work with. Uh, so as we kind of talked about earlier, there's Facebook ads where you can be able to target. So in those same geographic locations, we're able to then target them um, using that same message uh, on their Facebook. Um, or you could use potentially Google display ads. So again, for various websites and uh, search locations. Um, and the way that our team basically does this is we take the creative that you've, cre you've used for your direct mail piece and we adapt it to be able to make it work from that digital component. Um, so in this instance, let's assume we grab, you know, use both of these, and then what you'll see is the impressions will, will increase. Um, we are able to hit those same uh, individuals a few different times from that, that uh, digital component, and then the overall campaign uh, total adjusts. Jonathan, mm -hmm. does Facebook include Instagram? Is this all of Meta or just Facebook? That's a good question. I'll have to double check with our team. Um, I want to say it's both, but let me double check before I make that up. Good question, Brian. <laughs> All righty. Um, so then we'd go ahead and press checkout, and then it's going to sum up a little bit of what's included in your overall campaign. Um, so first component here is all about the digital or the physical piece. Um, so what's included is that we do all the printing for you. So nothing you have to manage. We manage the, the cost of paper. Um, and then we also include the actual delivery portion of the piece. Um, and we'll talk about it in a second as to, you know, our team will reach out to you and they'll be able to, you know, walk you through next steps once you've completed, um, you know, the checkout and we help walk you through and showcase the, you know, help you approve all the different pieces before it goes out. Um, the map here basically showcases the neighborhoods we've selected and sums up a bit of what the addresses are. Uh, down here sums up the different uh, components of your campaign, as well as the costs um, included here. Um, and then you can either pay in full or um, divide in half. Um, and so that is it from the actual uh, walkthrough. Um, as I said before, you know, our team will, once you click checkout, our team will be in contact with you usually within 24 hours to kind of talk about next steps and get everything lined up moving forward. Thank you so much. Um, I hope that was helpful for people. And I, I think Jonathan, one question for you is, um, you know, when you say the team will be in touch, there's nothing more frustrating than trying to do something new and then not being able to talk to someone who can help you in real time when you're struggling with some piece of it. So tell us about that part of the experience that um, what can people expect? 
Yeah, for sure. And, and I would say that, um, and, you know, this is probably, it's a great example that we can kind of talk through uh, uh, live as well, is as you know, we went through the whole, the whole tool itself, we know that it can, you know, there's a lot of new information, you may not be as comfortable using it. Um, so there is kind of two ways that you can easily get in contact with a Canada Post person throughout the flow, even before you uh, have completed your purchase. Um, so one of those elements here is our 1-800 or 1844 number up here. So these are individuals that are, you know, dedicated to the Snap Ad Mail tool, so can help walk you through or answer those questions. Um, and we also do have a live chat function, which I think just disappeared over for me. But there's another one that you can potentially leverage um, that, uh, like, you know, as you're going through it. Uh, I guess the second portion of your question is, you know, once you've completed, what to expect from there? Um, and so we do know that, you know, when it comes down to a physical piece, there's a little bit more handholding through that experience. Um, you know, instead of you have to, you know, many instances you want to review it, make sure it's all good. Um, and the template that you guys have shared with us, you know, making sure you've got your logo and whatever that message will include. Um, so usually we've got a team that will, you know, help explain whatever those next steps would look like, you know, take that piece, confirm with you that, you know, these are the pieces that you need to adjust um, and then um, allow you to go ahead and review, you know, what that piece is before we actually do the delivery. Delivery. Um, but really for many of the customers on the call here, you know, we manage the printing, we manage, you know, making sure that those items are delivered at the time frame that you've requested as well. And I think that's what we were really pleased to see when um, we first um, went through this tool is that um, you've made it much simpler for busy small business owners who have a million other things to do, to do a campaign or event that marries both the digital and the print together. Um, but in us having those conversations, you had also talked about, and I know that we're not gonna get into this too much, but there are um, other partners and um, small business agencies and others who, if anyone who's on this webinar wants to do something that's bigger or more complex, or you really wanna have something custom, um, all of that, they, they can find the information they need on your site to um, be matched with um, some agencies for that. So um, this goes to your next slide. Exactly, and I think that's a great, uh, a great um, addition there, Mandy. Is to that exact point. You know, we've showed the Snap Ad Mail tool designed for really self serve. Mm -hmm. However, we know that it might not be the right fit for everyone. All businesses are different. All small businesses are different. Um, and so we do, like to your point, we have a range of partners um, that support small businesses every day um, doing these types of campaigns. So you know, if you head to the the link here, which is CanadaPost.ca backslash uh, small business marketing. We've got the Snap Ad Mail tool, but we also have the full directory that you can search and find someone close by um, and have an initial discussion with some of those partners as well to see, you know, are they, are they the right fit to help you design the best campaign for yourself as well. And what everyone can see on this slide too is um, the five by seven postcard that we've created. And um, good. I, I hope everyone watching is happy to see we did select already. We, I think we, we had a good sense that the storefront was the one that our members would prefer the most. So you can see that's the one we had um, selected for the postcard. So this will be in the toolkit. And um, this is something to Alice's question earlier, can be fully customizable. So you can see, uh, I don't know if you can zoom in, Jonathan, but you can put your logo, any discount you may be offering. So these piece, this piece can be customized. Um, if you want to offer a small business Saturday um, sale or promotion or whatever else it could be um, during um, November to draw people into your business, this is a piece that you can get uh, or you can customize um, and use with the Snap Ad Mail tool. Great. Well, I think that's really good. And one other quick thing, Jonathan, that we were just before we wind up with our, our concluding um, comments and um, please, if people have questions, um, uh, put them in the question uh, chat. We, and yes, um, uh, we will be sending out uh, this deck and the webinar recording um, for everyone. So just to answer a quick, quick one there. Um, but Jonathan, we were talking about in the in the chat, you were reminding that in October, Canada Post also has a on, uh, I think every Tuesday in October, you when well, there's one free package that you can ship. Um, and so we just thought I would we call that to everyone's attention too. I don't know if you want to say a word about that. 
Yeah, for sure. And so I would say the, the group here is getting a bit of a sneak peek as to what's coming uh, very, very soon. But uh, yeah, so uh, we've done this for the last number of years is that we've got a campaign called um, Free Shipping Tuesday. And so basically for any any of the individuals who are part of our Solutions for Small Business program, um, they get one free package every Tuesday through the month of uh, you know, Small Business Month in October. Um, so uh, I would strongly recommend if you guys are not signed up for the program, go ahead. It's fully free, no requirements for you. Um, but what it does mean is if you do sign up now, um, and even as you get closer to October, you get those free packages, you know, every Tuesday throughout the, uh, the month of October. Always good to get stuff for free that yes. you don't <laughs> pay for, pay for your, pay for your coffee. Um, so there's also a door prize. And I don't know if that's where you were going, uh, Mandy. So um, Canada uh, Post has um, offered to uh, discount if you do end up doing one of their um, um, campaigns. And so if you're interested in the campaigns, we've got a post webinar survey, just indicate that you're interested and we'll put you in the draw for that. And then we'll let you know if you win, the odds are pretty good because um, we um, we don't have hundreds of thousands of people on this webinar. So if you're interested, uh, do that. And then I'm going to wrap us up quickly because we've only got a few um, more minutes. Um, but here are some things you can do to get involved. And I know we're looking at creating a little bit of a um, influencer committee um, community around shopping local. And so I think, Mandy, you're going to just uh, tell people what to do if they're interested in being part of that. Yeah, so we would love to, um, to connect with you more on shop local events and help amplify your shop local posts that you do on social media. So um, in effect, creating a little inf CFIB influencer community. So um, in order for you to, um, to engage in this, at the, also at the end of the um, webinar, when we send the survey, you can share your social um, handles with us. Um, and um, that way we can start following you so that when you post something, um, we can amplify that um, when it's about shopping local. So please start also then tagging um, our accounts, follow our accounts. It's so that when we see you posting anything, small business every day, small business Saturday or other shop local events that you may be doing, we can amplify and boost your, um, your social presence um, through our channels. And um, if you um, don't have that right now, you can email your social handles to marketing at cfib.ca and then we'll um, start uh, following you that, that way. And then also um, if you send us this information, we'll follow up with you and um, when we have other events, we'll reach out and ask your advice or your thoughts on um, how we can um, continue to grow this movement of getting Canadians to support local more. That's, that's great, Mandy. Um, and the handle, what's the handle to tag? Um, so on, on, um, in, on Instagram and um, Facebook, we have both of them here as well as Twitter. So on Instagram, it's at CFIB underscore FCEI. Um, on Facebook, it's at CFIB. And um, on Twitter, it's at CFIB News. So, and this is a great, the, 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 when we thought about how we can really engage in these campaigns is we're, we're an aggregator with close to 100,000 members across Canada. So we can, and we have a lot of bigger businesses con connecting with us as well. So we can amplify other movements and be like promote all the great things that are happening out there. So that's sort of our vision around um, Shop Local. So these are your key takeaways. Um, the, remember that the, the messaging resonates with consumers, the pu public opinion opinion polling shows that so um but but it's always good to remind your consumers of that right because they need reminding so um using shop local messaging um and doesn't also doesn't have to be expensive um you know it can be as simple as a, a chalkboard or a um a getting one of your um uh employees to do a cute sign for the window using one of ours um, and leveraging those dates and events, Small Business Saturday being the one that's coming up in November. And um, of course, all those uh, great free tools. And um, I think with that, we're close to our time. I just usually give about 20 seconds for each of the presenters to, to um, say what they want to say. I know we also have Arish, one more slide while they're doing that, which is the upcoming webinars, which I always like to remind people of. So um, maybe we can put the upcoming webinars are. And Mandy, if you want to say goodbye and Jonathan say goodbye and anything you want to add. 
Well, I just want to say thank you, everyone. And I really hope that um, you do something for Small Business Saturday this year, because the more businesses that are going to celebrate Small Business Saturday in some way, the bigger that movement is going to become and the more Canadians who are going to make that extra effort to shop local on that really busy shopping weekend. So um, I hope you participate and good luck. Great. And Jonathan, last words from you. Yeah, I would say thank you so much for everyone. I appreciate the time today. And uh, yeah, uh, jumping off of what Mandy said, you know, best of luck with the upcoming Small Business Saturday. And I'll be looking out for all the posters. Great. And these are the upcoming uh, webinars and workplace wellness is something we're still getting a lot of calls on. So some great tools on that. Um, our chief economist will be on the economic outlook one and he is terrific and a lot of your data goes into this. So it's interesting to see your expectations about prices and other um, key indicators. And of course, making the most of your CFIB membership. That's not just for new members, um, also for members who may be wondering, hey, is there more I can do to like make good use of this membership I've got. We hope to see you on one of those and we'll leave you with the very last slide. If you want to be in touch with us, we love to hear from you. And so um, you know where to find us, I think, but um, here's our, our number and various other ways you can follow us and be in touch. And with that, I'll end today's webinar. Thank you very much for joining us.